Hello everybody, my name is Crystal Face and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing. Woo! I got some new stuff. That's the same rock though, but I got a new floor and a new awesome wall. I got this awesome cello. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't have any tunes yet, but uh, I need to do that. I also got a bunch of new shirts. Uh, Polar Fleece, which is awesome. Future Shirt is the one I have actually started the game with. Blue Aloha. I actually have some other ones, but um, maybe they're in these presents or something. Actually, no, I'm lying. Uh, we got some mail to open. Let me just step outside so we can have some background music while I read it. Because, uh, I sent a bunch of mail yesterday. I actually have, like, four other letters right now. Uh, let's see. It's a museum. The fossil you recently sent is an amber, a durable resin in which many fossils are preserved. We hereby return the specimen to you and await future submissions. So, basically, what happens is you have to send the fossils you find, which is these guys, fossil. And you gotta write a letter to the museum. You gotta send them over onto the museum land, and they'll... Uh, figure out what the heck it even is. So what's this one? Triceratops skull. Ooh, sweet. So right now I got amber. I'm actually kind of hoping for uh, a repeat because if I get a repeat, I get some money. An ancient life form. Oh, a trilobite. Sweet. All right. So so far we got new ones, and that's not really uh, that big a surprise, really, because we just started our museum collection. And, uh, by the end of this series, I would love to try and max out the museum. Uh, oh, actually, fine pa I have a fine painting in my pocket, and wouldn't you believe it, I freaking- Okay, let me show you where I found it. I found the, fly the fine painting in the garbage. I found fine painting in the garbage dump, are you kidding me? That's awesome. Fine painting- Like, I don't know how to get paintings, so- Finding in the dump is the best thing ever. Hey, Nook, what's up? I'm not gonna sell my, uh... Oh, yes! Oh, dude, I can finally catch things. Alright, let's do this. I think the net is a little bit better, but... I don't know. Maybe not. Having both is the ideal thing. Yep, I know how to use things, Tom Nook. I've played this game plenty of hours in my life. I kind of like that down hour t-shirt, but I'm gonna focus on the, uh... On these tools here, because I don't know, I'm not that rich. Uh, I did play a little bit off the off camera, just to get some money and pay off my loan a little bit. I won't uh, pay off my house debts off camera because I want to just you know have that as part of episodes. Uh, maybe I'll do something special or something. Oh, also I I got a job from uh, Astrid, the kangaroo lady. <clears throat> She's like a weird circus kangaroo. I got a job to, um, I can't carry stuff. Okay, let's get rid of our stuff. Uh, I have to plant, like, flowers around her house because that's what she wants me to do. So, hopefully, she'll pay me or reward me with a piece of furniture, clothing, anything, really. I also did some designs that I will show you shortly. Uh, where's the museum, even? Uh, oh, it's actually on the left. Um, I can't carry anything now. Oh, by the way, I also, I bought a second shovel because uh, I want to get, I want to try and get myself a golden shovel. Uh, I don't remember the golden shovel's function, but I think the golden shovel function, if, if I'm not wrong, is that sometimes you'll dig up money, just like straight from the ground, which is awesome. And uh, we'll just check around for the rock of the day. Ooh, my first catch. Hey, <laughs> what the heck are you? I mean, I'm on my way to the museum already. Let's see what you got. Oh, I move so fast. I remember it's moving way slower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Got a drone beetle. My first catch of the... Oop. Oh, it's just another one. Hey, Astrid, I'll come back with your flowers later. Oh, it looks like my plant is growing nicely. All right. So, yeah, I just planted a... F uh, ooh. Did you see that? There's like a little dig spot right next to the bushes here. Hey, blathers. Ooh. What time is it? Oh, I'm so very sleepy. Oh, actually, I just remembered. Um, There's going to be a meteor shower. Oh, dear me. A thousand pardons. And it's going to be at six o'clock. So terribly sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez, blathers. You really blather a lot. What? Okay, let's donate some items. Uh, I don't think I can group donate. No, I can't group donate. Well, I guess we're going to be doing this for a little bit. Uh, what was that, trilobite? Well, what do we have? Who? A trilobite, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Yes. Yes, very nice indeed. This is quite a beautiful specimen as well, quite. You're to be congratulated. Well then, where to begin? Trilobites. Hmm. 
Trilobites were hard-shelled segmented arthropods which populated the Paleozoic seas long before dinosaurs existed. There were over 15,000 specimens of known trilobites and more discovered each year, what what. This makes them the single most diverse group of exti extinct organisms ever. Amazing, truly remarkable, you know. They are, however, extinct. No living descendants whatsoever. The constant perils of nature are quite formidable indeed. Who? my, so sorry, old bean. Alright, I'm just gonna skip the rest of whatever he's saying. I can't even speed up his combo. Uh, oh yeah. Alright, so this is gonna be a very learny episode. We're gonna learn some things today, guys. Blathers is gonna teach us, he's gonna take us to school. That's a drone beetle. No, that's not necessary. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, I remember he hates bugs. I have to say that I am not overly fond of insects. I quite simply do not like dodging them. Belch. They're called beetles. Watch the lugs of the insect world. Insects with armor plating their backs, you know. Their armor, it opens up, revealing legs, featherless wings, which they use to fly. It's really quite unnatural. <laughs> then there's that thin membrane-like covering where their heads connect to their bodies. Most foul. Whew, but I digress. Alright, let's see. I got an amber and I got a triceratops skull. Uh, the triceratops skull seems more um, interesting at the moment. So let's check out what he's got to say about triceratops skulls. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle. Oh, okay. So the good thing about um, if you give him pieces of the dinosaur is that he doesn't tell you about their stuff immediately. It's kind of like you have to earn it while you complete the whole skeletal structure of the dinosaur. So that's pretty sweet. It's kind of like a little reward ish system. Oh, there it is. It's time for the media shower. Alright. I'm not sure really. The amber is a form of tree resin which has hardened and been preserved in the Earth's crust for millions of years. Resin is produced as a defense against insects and disease. It seals wounds, allowing trees time to heal. Cool. Sometimes unlucky insects get caught in the resin too. I wonder what's in your amber. A fly? Perhaps a mosquito? Pretty sure it's a mosquito actually. It's a preservative and miraculous blah blah. Who mercy, what prattling. Alright brothers, we had enough for you in one episode. Stop hijacking my show. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, actually, I'm not even done donating, um, the fine painting, let's get the fine painting onto his hands, I need to get all this stuff out of my pockets, hoo hoo I say, so this is a fine painting I've heard so much about, we meet at last, yeah, I just found it in the dumpster, no big deal, just, uh, just the Mona Lisa, just in the garbage, whatever, words fail me, truly, I suppose all one can honestly say is that it's a fine painting, <laughs> You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? I wish you would give me money for all my efforts. Sheesh. Oh, oh. Good evening. The summer meteor shower reaches its peak tonight. Come watch it by the lake. Hana. See, that's what I was talking about. Meteor shower on them. Um. Oh, man. Okay, let's just get... Let's take a quick look at these guys. So there's the amber right there. I love how it looks. It looks so cool. And crystally. It looks great. I love it. And then there's the Tricera back there. I'm gonna take a look at uh, Kabutops. This is the this is the animal based on Kabutops and Kabuto, mostly Kabuto really. And Triceratops. Ta-da! Yeah. Okay, sweet. And let's take a look at the fine painting. See what the heck it is, because uh, I actually don't. Oh wait, yeah, I remember what it was, um, but I can't remember what it's based on. I feel like it's based on a painting that's supposed to be like pointillism or something. I don't know. But there it is. It's like a, I don't know, day in the park or something. Fine painting donated by Crystal F. That's me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I guess with our little errand here, I mean, I got a drone wheel, but whatever, it's not really that big a deal. Once I fill it up with a good bunch of stuff, then I'll worry about that. Uh, gonna go ahead and dig this up, though. And hopefully it's a fossil. Yeah, it's a fossil. Check it out, I dug up a fossil. Alright, so we're also going to be mailing the fossils I have on hand uh, before this episode is over. I think it's only f up to five per day, or well, not per day, but per like mail service. Where am I going? Man, I need to. Uh, I don't remember how to activate. Oh, I have a fishing rod. I should probably try to catch a fish or two. Uh, but, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't remember how to activate the mayor's. Thing about like oh hey Petunia um to build a new bridge I, I don't actually remember how that goes or what needs to happen uh, I feel it might be tied oh dude money tree my money tree grew woohoo 
Dude, that's awesome. I don't even remember how much I put in it. Ooh, $1,000. Three grand in the pocket. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I did that. I totally forgot about that thing. $3,000 richer here, everybody. Awesome. I, I don't, I don't uh, remember seeing the gold spot today, so hopefully I find that while I'm recording. And uh, we'll be able to get a golden shovel going. Uh, unfortunately, if I plant the golden shovel... Ooh. Did you hear that? Cool. Sweet. It's the mayor. It's Jay. Ooh, oh, sweet. There he goes. You saw one? That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright, this is one of my favorite things about this game. Just cool events like this. Like, it's so simple and relaxing and... But like it's not the real it's not like the most visually impressive thing in the world or anything but it's just fun it's just nice and that song that music reminds me a lot of earthbound wanna chill out here all right let's see what he's got to say chris left do you know about the meteor showers they're tonight sprout well they're happening right now if you gotta see them just make sure you don't take my spot <laughs> And what's that? A thought just blazed across my mind. I'm so excited about the meteor showers. I'll give you a present. Oh, sweet. Neighbor should try to, like, 100% his presence. It's a telescope. This is the first thing I think of when I think of meteor showers. Nothing says summer nights to me more than this. <laughs> Horf. Awesome. He gave me a telescope. Thanks, bro. I don't know if that's a, actually a special item or if I can just acquire that off Tom Nook's store or not. But, hey, Jay. How you liking the meteor shower? Man, this is so weird. Checking out meteor showers always makes you feel like I'm like we're wrapping, warping through space, but we're not. <laughs> That's cool. That's a cool way to put it. I can't find a good place to look at the meteors, Neil. I keep getting a stiff neck. Yeah, <laughs> just look at the lake. Just look at the lake and look at the reflections. Because that way you'll be looking down, just like me. I guess I've spent enough time uh, doing that. But I love it. Let's go ahead and write a letter to the museum. Hey, nerds! Tell me what this fossil is now! Dog, cat, bunny, bunny, octopus, cow, pig, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, blah! Oh, that sounds good to me. And official. Very professional. Oh, by the way, I got an HRA. Let's see, your current layout earns 1,896 points. To be blunt, your house is too small. You don't have to... You don't have the space for a pleasant layout. Well, forgive me for being poor. I'll just throw it into the lake for good hygiene. Uh, not my personal hygiene, just the lake's hygiene. Yep, lakes have hygiene. My pants top shelf, so I call it hygiene. All right, more fossils. You know, it's pretty crazy how how many dinosaurs have died here. <laughs> it's like if every single dinosaur ever was just standing around in Redwood, which is my village's name. And just freaking died. Hey, Pelly, you still working this late? Alright, let's see. Can I. I can't multi snail? Come on, multi snail mail. Uh, one of the cool functions that the, uh, the post office has is pretty cool because uh, you can actually just save your favorite pieces of letters, like pieces of mail. Uh, like if a um, uh, an animal sends you a piece of mail that you particularly like, you can just save it to the archive, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Rain, sleet, snow, or snail. Ha! <laughs> we'll deliver what you mail. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so that's that. Uh, so yeah, it's basically five at the same time. I can't really do more than that. And there's Pete, I think his name is. Flying away. See you later, Pete. Godspeed on your mission. Alright. Um, I'll worry about those other fossils. And, uh, I talked about t-shirt design, so let me show you that. Let me catch that mosquito, though. Mosquito, though. Hiya! Alright, sweet. <laughs> That's my favorite part. It just has a little sign. Here! It's right here, man. Can't you see it? Alright. Ooh, hiya! Ooh, come on! Uh, whoa, who the heck are you? <gasps> Aw. Hey, weed. Growing some weed over here? Oh, I'm just kidding. Sally! Eek! What the? Hey, don't startle me like that! Wee! 
You almost gave me a heart attack. Maybe it's just me, but don't you think it's rude to startle a lady before you even met her? We? Well, I guess your catchphrase is we. Where are your manners? But I'm over it now. Just had to catch my breath. My name is Sally. By the way, Sally is like one of my favorite names ever. Try to be a little calmer. From now on, talk to me in soft whispers at night, okay? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, Sally is one of my favorite names ever. If your name is Sally, that's what's up. <laughs> Hiya! Dang it. Well, let's see what Sally's got to say first. Oh my, it's already 6 p.m. Wee! So tell me, Crystal, what did you want? Uh, what's going on, Sally? Do you have any friends who are living in towns other than our own quaint Redwood? If you do, you know what? You know that you can go visit their towns and they can come visit here? Uh, yeah, but, like, it's kind of complicated, actually. <laughs> Whenever you want to visit another town, just go to the station and take the next train. But to get a seat on the train, you have to have another memory card, yeah. I already, I think I mentioned that in a different episode. Alright, Sally, you ain't telling me anything new. Actually, she might be, but whatever. Alright, so let's check out her house. Let's see what's up with her housey house. Whoa, she's very, uh, very hygienic, very, uh, fruity. Ah, oh, I used to love this, this, uh, this TV set. Chicken? Oh, I need to find a retro TV set. The retro TV is, like, my favorite TV ever. And you'll know when you see it. You'll know why. By the way, so, yeah, this is the, these are the designs I made. I made a Haunter and a Ghastly t-shirt design. They're actually pretty cool. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Yeah, Hunter, pixel art. It looks pretty sweet. I like it. And then, uh, let's check out the Ghastly for one second. I'll be making more of these for funsies. It's a little bit hard to see it, uh, indoors, I guess. You don't really see the smoky details. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Ghastly and Hunter. Uh, I'm still kind of upset about the weird color choices that this game has. They're really strange how the color system goes on in the game. But, uh, whatever. Guess I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I just have to like pick specific Pokemons with specific color schemes that go well with what they have or else it just looks weird like my Haunter looks kind of weird and the Ghastly looks kind of weird but Haunter turned out a little bit better uh, yeah oh yeah uh, I almost forgot I have to get Astrid some flowers so I'll do that right quick Alright, so I finally got Astrid's flowers here, so she can get off my back about it. She was actually pretty rude about it, too. She was like, uh, I don't like gardening. It makes me feel like a swine. A dirty swine. I'm like, really? Uh, that's kind of rude, because, I mean, there are pig people in this world, so it's kind of, I don't know, racist, almost? And she's like, I don't want to grovel in the dirt, so why don't you do it? You seem like you can do that kind of thing. Where the heck is she? So I'm like, yeah, that's great, Astrid. Whatever you say. But, uh, I don't know where she is. Well, I mean, I did the job. I did the thing with the thing and the flowers, so I'm not really gonna... If I see her, I'll... Then I'll worry about it. I did the flower job. So let's see if we can catch us something nice. My favorites, my personal favorites, are red snappers and also, I think it's called zebrafish. Let's see what we get here. It's probably gonna be sea bass, really. Haha! Ooh, it's a sea bass! <laughs> Nobody gets these, why do I keep saying things like that? Sea bass? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot that every single fish, there's like a neat little joke and catchphrase or whatever. It's so awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. I caught a sea bass. Let's see, let's try one more fish. Because, screw sea bass. Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. It's the same size as the sea bass. Plus, there's a mosquito coming my way. You know what? Uh, screw you, mosquito. You ain't the boss of me. Aha! We got a candidate right here. Maybe it's a... I don't know, a salmon. Salmon like going up streams, right? Do I feel that might be a viable option? Hiya! Don't scare it off now. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Or... Or not. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Let's do it. Ooh, what the heck? Ah, oh, my hands. I just got a jellyfish with my hands. You know, to be honest, uh, well, not to be honest, uh, just like a little backstory on me. Um, I actually got stung by a jellyfish on my hands uh, when I was a little kid because I picked it up because I'm stupid and a little child. <laughs> Cause my Okay, so my whole family, we were just at the beach. Um, 
and I was walking along the shoreline, just the beach, we were just walking around, and, uh, there was something on the floor, and I, amongst, like, a bunch of seaweed and stuff, and I thought it was super weird, and I didn't know what the heck it was, I thought it was, like, a plastic bag or something, and I picked it up, um, and I'm like, whoa, this is awesome, and then my hand started hurting so super badly, oh, I can't even have this, my hand, my hand was starting to, like, it was such a terrible pain, like, I really will never forget that, and, uh, we, it, it, it's such a weird pain, too, because it almost feels like it's throbbing, and, like, it, it's definitely not that thing where they show in, like, movies and stuff, where it's, like, well, shows and cartoons and whatever, where it's, like, electricity, I don't know if there's actually a jellyfish that actually does that, but it's just, like, a really crazy, really tough pain, and, uh, oh, there's Astrid, um, and we we went to the lifeguard to to ask what the heck to even do, and he said like, um, he said to like I think there was like two different options. Someone had to pee on my hand, or we go and get vinegar. And I and I'm like, no, I don't want anyone to pee on my hand. And so we just started driving somewhere. And to be honest, I don't even remember. I, anything after that I just started, I was just like crying in the car and everyone was super worried and we got vinegar somehow I don't remember actually anymore but uh so there's that story um thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my tales uh this has been crystal face and uh I'll catch you in the next episode Cool. If you have the drop on people with this gun, it's actually pretty... Whoa, holy crap. Well, I killed someone. And three down. Holy crap, dude. That was amazing. And you're done. And you're done. You're done, son. Missile launch on him.